My hair is so greasy. This is like day five hair. Don't look too close. I'm a Monet right now. Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are taking a break from the spooky and we are gonna talk about the October BoxyCharm. If you wanna see what I got in my box, then just hang out. So in this month's BoxyCharm, we got some goodies. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is this face balm. This is the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. It retails for $32. It says it's an ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. I used it today underneath this makeup. I wore it by itself for a little while. I had to run out to the store, I ran out to you know Whole Foods to go pick up some stuff to pretend that I cooked it for a work potluck. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just wore it on bare skin and I looked like a little baby. My skin felt so hydrated and plump and shiny, but not like in a greasy kind of a way. It's really nice. So it comes in this little pot. My camera is so freaking temperamental. It's got this little lid to protect it. So I just end up wiping, you know, whatever's left stuck to the top of this lid, but it's a good size amount in this pot. Wow, there's a giant hair stuck in there. No fragrance, which is good. It's like a, just a very creamy lotion texture. It glides on very nice, makes your skin feel really, really lovely. So this is a win. I'm very excited about this. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna talk about is this Briogeo. Don't Despair Repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. It retails full size for $16. This is not a full size, which kind of pees me off a little bit, BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm is a full size product box. WTF. This is a leave-in conditioner. I've gotten this a bazillion times in a bazillion different boxes. So I actually have two other of these that have come in other boxes that I have not gone all the way through because I also have a full-size one that I purchased because I really do like this product. I'm not gonna open this because I already have a bunch of them. So this is gonna get set aside for a giveaway, but it is pretty good. You know, it's a leave-in conditioner, smells nice. It doesn't weigh your hair down. It works. It says it has B vitamins, coconut oil, algae extract, and biotin. I mean, okay, it's good. It's good, I like it. I know I'm, I'm kind of blowing it off a little bit, but we've all seen this a million times. Briogeo has been making the rounds of these boxes. We get it, we get it. We see you. Okay, next. The next thing that I'm very excited about is this Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette. This, come on, focus, you turd. Nope, we're just making the whole blooper roll just based on this. Holy sh, okay, well, it's not gonna focus. This is the Dose of Colors Baked Browns palette. They came out with a series of these in different colors. There's like Marvelous Mauves, some other cool tone one, and then this is the Baked Browns. This packaging is very luxe and lovely. It comes with a double-ended don't drop it, oh my god. <laughs> Comes with a double-ended brush, very tiny, like a pencil brush on one side. It's not focusing. Okay, whatever, but the colors are really lovely. It's just like warm-toned browns for a very basic and beautiful look. This would be really great for work. This would be a really good palette to travel with. This palette retails for $32. It's a five pan, all matte eyeshadows. We're just gonna do something I haven't done in a very, very long time, just a basic matte brown eyeshadow look. I'm actually kind of excited about it. If you just want something easy, simple, you know it's gonna be pretty, let's get into it. First, I'm gonna take this lightest tone. I'm gonna go kind of all over the lid. I just put a little bit of extra concealer to make sure that it had a nice, good base. With a fluffy crease brush, let's just use this one. Sure, just the next tone, wow. I mean, there's a fair amount of kick up with these shadows. So these shadows blend so nicely. I mean, let me show you about this kick up. Do you see the kick up? I mean, that doesn't normally bother me. So I, you know, I'm not that upset about it, but all right, I'm gonna do my traditional Luke and get all up in this eye bag. I'm going to use this tiny little brush that it came with. And I'm gonna dip into the darkest of the tones and I'm gonna deepen up that outer corner. Oh no, there's fallout. All right, luckily it brushed away fairly quickly, but I'm not very happy to report that fallout is a problem with these shadows. So the only other Dose of Colors eyeshadows that I have are from the Desi Katie collection, and I don't recall ever having a fallout issue. 
some. Could I just do my eye makeup first? Yes. Am I going to? No. I'm trying not to go too crazy here because I don't want it to be super duper dark, but I am looking for a good blend. Let's dip into a mid-tone. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the center one. Wow, that one looks so red on camera. I mean, it's pretty red, but and I'm just gonna use this right in this crease just to kind of blend these two tones a little bit better. I'm getting a little bit of skipping, but it's just because the color tones are so different. There we go. Wow, that fallout is for real. Ah. Ipsy Live in New York was this past weekend and I didn't get to go. I'm so sad. I'm like watching everyone's vlogs about it and I'm so jealous. I didn't get to go, but I still got to do something fun. The reason I missed it is because I was at New Jersey Horror Con in Atlantic City and I wore the Pennywise cosplay. If you have not seen my Pennywise video, what are you even doing here? <laughs> I just picked up a little bit of that lightest tone to kind of blend this inner corner a little bit more. Anyways, I wore Pennywise in the cosplay contest and I won. Yay! I won most original. I didn't win um, overall, but there was some stiff competition, can I just say? There was a couple who showed up and they were dressed like the Jersey Devil. They both were. It was a, a guy and a gal. And they were both in these amazing constructed, like, they look like, like werewolves, I guess, almost. It's hard to explain, but they won, you know, best in show, best overall, as they should have. And I won for most original and I won a hundred dollars. So now I'm going to take that darkest tone, very lightly run it in my lower lash line. I don't want to make this too, too smoky, but I'm just trying to get a little bit of definition there. So once the color is placed, I'm going to flip that little brush around and really, really blend. So whichever colors are kind of left on it are going to help me blend. Wow, those colors do blend very nice. I just wish there wasn't such bad fallout. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna talk about that came in the box this month is this eyeliner. It's not gonna focus. This is the Luna by Luna eyeliner. It retails for $16. The color is called Pegasus, and it appears to be a navy. I don't, I don't love that look just because it's just not my favorite. Okay, you know what? I am gonna use this as liner. So I'm gonna just take this along my upper lash line. You know what? That pencil actually glides on really nicely. A lot of times when you have, you meeting me, <laughs> when you have aging skin in your eyelids, it's a little crepier and it pulls, it tugs a little bit. So it's difficult to get a pencil to apply nicely without it just like looking nuts. But this is actually working very nicely. Hmm. I'm going to do the other eye and then put on mascara and we'll come back and talk about the lips. Okay, so a couple things to note. Number one, this eyeliner is not navy blue. I'm dumb. It's just like a regular black liner. And although it does glide very nicely on, you know, a um, more mature eyelid, it is not staying very nicely in the waterline. So, I don't know about this. So the last product that came in the box is a lip gloss. This is the iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss. This retails for $26. It says it's a non-sticky gloss, plumping power, blah, blah, blah. The color that I received is called Love Struck. So I'm gonna really quickly line my lips. This is a Steve Laurent pencil that came a couple boxes ago. Okay, so let's go on with this gloss. Ooh, it's definitely got some kind of minty situation in here. Okay, so final thoughts, recap of the box. So first of all, this Touch and Soul Skin Balm, I really like this. It's very hydrating, it made my skin look like a little baby. How well does it work with makeup? I mean, my makeup is laying down beautifully on top of it, so I'm very excited about this. And this foundation that I'm wearing, I haven't talked about on camera yet because it's one that I was so excited to buy and I don't love it. Maybe I just need to find the right combination and maybe this was the right combination. Which is funny because the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer is what I now use to make this Estee Lauder double wear work because otherwise I can't get this to lay down nicely. So maybe Touch and Soul is like the key to making foundations look their best. Hey! Okay, next is uh, this Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. It's good. Okay, it's good, we get it. We see you everywhere, man, okay? Could we not 
can we just have can we have another hair brand that would be great next is this eyeshadow palette look at my fingerprints all over it so the packaging is beautiful the colors are beautiful but I'll, I'll tell you, like the fallout, not super happy about it. The blendability was good and the color tones are good. And like I said, this would be really good to travel with if you're just going like a quick overnight or um, like a weekend or something. You don't want to pack a whole bunch of stuff, but at the same time, like kind of already have all these colors. Although I like it, the kick up and the, I'm just not so sure. I'm not so sure it's going to be worth it for me to hold on to this. I might end up passing this on to a friend. Next, this eyeliner. I'm not like that upset that it's not navy blue. I already have like navy blue pencils, but it's like, I mean, I don't know. It's like, I don't like the ones you have to sharpen yourself because I'm lazy. I might end up passing this along too. All right, and then last, this lip gloss. I really like it. It looks really pretty. It feels really nice. It's not sticky. I mean, everything they say in the description is correct. Plumping lip glosses, non-sticky plumping power, high shine formula. Yeah, it's high shine. Look at that. High shine formula infused with bio mimetic pept bio mimetic bio mimetic peptide. I have never heard that word in my life. Bio mimetic it helps support natural collagen production for a more defined and voluminous looking lips. Well, we all know that peppermint and all that stuff in these lip plumpers. They're just like, they're irritants. They're irritants to get your skin, uh, your lips to kind of react and blood flows to it, which makes them plumper. So there's no lasting effects to that that are, you know, irritating or I'm not allergic to it or anything like that. I like the color, it's really nice. This would be really simple to just like keep in a bag and like quickly apply. So overall, was this month's box worth it? I don't know. You know, I've been saying for a while that the boxes have been so good that I'm kind of waiting for a bomb to show up. And I wouldn't necessarily call this a bomb, but it's not the bomb either. Do people still say that? No, they don't. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? Anytime that I have stuff that I don't necessarily like, I just pass it on to somebody else, so it's not a total loss, you know. Had I not already had brown shades, this would have been great and I would have kept it, but I already have them, so whatever. And I don't need another black eyeliner pencil that I have to sharpen. And I don't need any more of this. Stop sending it. If you don't know how to sign up for BoxyCharm and are interested, I do have a link down below. I will list all of these products down in the description box if you're still interested. If there are coupon codes available, I will make sure to list those down below as well. I will also list all of the other products that I have on my face that I maybe didn't talk about on camera. Links included. You're welcome. Anyways, thanks so much for hanging out today and for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos here on YouTube every Thursday at noon. You can also follow me on all of my socials and sound off on the comments below. What did you get in your boxy charm? Did we get the same box? Did you get other stuff? I want to know. I want to know all about it. I will catch you next week in next week's video. Bye. Not making any sense. Probably edit all that out. <laughs> No? Okay. No? Gross. Not gonna focus? No?